Plastic Planet. With your host, it's Nick Mac. Welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I am your host, Nick Knack. So glad to have you guys back with me for another exciting episode of Nick Knack's Plastic Planet. Uh, this week, I had some grandiose plans for this week's episode. I actually ordered a uh, Sideshow Collectibles figure in advance, uh, and actually from Big Bad Toy Store, and they're located up north in Wisconsin, and I actually ordered it with the, uh, and, I, and I opted to get the FedEx shipping so I could get it by Saturday, um, by Saturday for the show and so I was gonna unbox that and review that figure for you guys today unfortunately as things sometimes happen here in the West in the springtime uh, we had a really really bad snowstorm just north of us up in Nebraska and uh, and I don't want to make light of it or anything because people were hurt actually from this but uh, the highway was shut down and um, and my FedEx shipment was delayed, um, and I'm not even sure when I'm going to get my figure now. It might be Monday, might be Tuesday. Again, I don't want to like make too much light out of it or whine about it because um, some people were uh, honestly, you know, put in some dire straits from this storm. And uh, and my action figure is, the, is probably the least of the worries of the universe right now. Um, however, I was disappointed because I was excited to do that for you guys this week. But that's okay. So you know, sometimes we got to change plans, change course, and that's what we're going to do for you guys uh, today. So what I'm what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm you know what I talk a lot about on on this show um, a lot about mid to higher end um, collectibles and that's really my collecting focus but it always hasn't been that way and so I mean you know in all honesty I mean I do I'm an avid hot toy collector I buy a lot of hot toys um, mostly Star Wars but I have a few DC hot toys as well and you know to be honest with you if you collect hot toys figures unless you're very very financially well off. You're kind of a you're kind of an idiot because they're expensive and it is an expensive hobby for something that is kind of you know they're freaking dolls for Christ's sake and I love them very much do not get me wrong but they are dolls at the end of the day and it's a lot of money to spend on a doll but nevertheless I mean you know hey I I've never ever pretended to be a financial genius if I was a financial genius this wouldn't be Nick Knack's Plastic Planet this would be Nick Knack's Bling Bling Dollar Sign Show. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, this is this is my uh, this is my retirement strategy right here. So I don't pretend to be a financial genius, so that's why I collect hot toys. But you know, today we are going to be looking at the more thrifty side of collecting, and that's why I'm going to go over with you guys. We're going to head down into the archive room for this, but I'm going to be going over with you guys my top five favorite collectibles, all under ten dollars. All right, guys. So I'm downstairs in the archive room, and if you if you haven't noticed in the last yeah you know four or five videos that I've made, I've been spending a lot more time down here, and I got to say it's actually becoming one of my very favorite rooms in the house, uh, just because it just just the, the nice use of space down here since I cleaned it out. Um, if you want to see that process, go back and see my my two spring cleaning videos, which were kind of painful to make, but uh, I think they're kind of fun. Um, but yeah, just I've just been spending a lot more time down here because it's, it's it's fun. This is where I, mean, I don't have my cream of the crop of my collectibles down here, but I have a lot of really cool fun stuff down here and there's some utility down here too because I can work out in this space and I got I got I got four freaking fish tanks going right now and actually look really good um, so anyway yeah really pleased with this room right now so we're gonna be we're gonna be showing off my top five favorite uh, collectibles that are all under ten dollars right now already coming in at number five on this list of top five collectibles under ten dollars that are really really awesome is this bootleg diruger i think i'm saying that right if i'm not correct me in the comment section below diruger voltron said i purchased at a gordman's location in the last year i, I have no idea what exactly this figure is because i did not keep the packaging for it um it certainly wasn't labeled as a voltron figure though um a lot of it was in japanese or, or some sort of um, um asian language i couldn't make it out obviously because I, I, I i'm not 
privy to that, but I did find it, nevertheless, at a Gordman's, this I know, and I know I only paid $7.50 for him, and he's really good, I mean, the wheels, he's got rolling wheels down here, the colors are really nice, he stands just over 9 uh, inches tall, he doesn't have any, he doesn't come apart or anything, which is bad and kind of good actually because then i'm not going to lose shit um holds his sword real nice just a really nice bright colored figure i really do dig this a lot and at seven dollars hell you can't go wrong you can't go wrong at all again he's just he stands just over not almost nine inches tall very very sweet and for seven dollars and fifty cents that's a that's a certified steal cha-ching <laughs> Coming in at number four for just $9.99 and free shipping off eBay, I picked up this awesome, awesome third-party bootleg, whatever the hell you want to call it, Quintesson figure um, from eBay. Again, just under $10 shipped. Completely awesome. The colors are great. The five faces of darkness are shining through. Oh, he doesn't stand very good, though. Uh, brilliantly. Um, he's got this great little energy stand that he stands on. The tentacles are really malleable, and you can bend them around. Looking really, really sharp. Again, just $9.99 I paid for this. Absolutely awesome. And yes, he actually does stand very well on a shelf when I'm not screwing with him. So yeah, really, really, really cool. Guilty or innocent? Shh. Innocent. Just an FYI, if you've ever seen Transformers the movie, you know that if a Quintesson judges you as innocent, you're guilty as shit and you're Sharktacon Chow! <laughs> Already coming in at number three on this list, and this was a sheer joy to collect these mini bot keychain Transformers that were sold, I found them at, at, at my Gordman's location. And you know what's funny is, over the years, I've maybe found just a small handful of items worth buying at Gordman's. But that Voltron Diruger um, bootleg was one of them, and these keychain mini-bots were another one. I mean, they're exact, uh, they're exact replicas of their G1 counterparts, with only an addition of a small hoop on them where there was a keychain. Other than that, they're exactly the same. They look phenomenal. And I, I bought these in the early 2000s when I was in a real uh, G1 Transformer craze. Not that I've ever gotten out of a G1 Transformer craze. But I was really trying to recollect and, 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 and add to my already decent G1 Transformer collection. These just hit the spot perfectly. At just $2.99 to $4 each, this was blissful, guilt-free collecting. And it, they were a joy to find. I didn't get them all in one one fell swoop. I had to go to Gordman's over the course of a couple, oh, maybe a week or two to get them all. Uh, but it was just absolutely fun to find these and to collect these. I mean, you, you got Wind Charger there. You got Brawn. You got Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee. I mean, I mean, who could ask for more? I mean, maybe a Cosmos would have been cool, or a Beachcomber, or a, or a Sea Spray, but still, absolutely awesome. I'm not sure if those other figures were available, but I did find these four at the time. Again, this is going back maybe 15 years, guys. But still, for just under three to under five bucks each, maybe I think under four, honestly, this was a sheer joy to collect these keychain tr mini bot transformers. And and hell, you can hardly tell they're keychains unless I point it out those little tiny loops other than that yeah these were perfect love these figures a lot Alrighty, coming in at number two is more Transformers love, and I don't know if I've ever had more fun collecting anything in my life than I did collecting these Heroes of Cybertron vinyl figures that were available locally here in Colorado at my Walgreens and my Rite Aid locations. These were an absolute joy to collect at a price point, a small, inconsequential price point of only $2.99 to $3.99. These were amazingly fun to collect several years back. They even had a Build-A-Figure. That's what this Metroplex is. You had to collect a bunch of a various wave that had pieces and parts to him to get him together. So much fun. And this is just a small sampling of my collection. I actually have several of these um, these figures. I absolutely adore them so much. And they were like, again, they were just so much fun to collect. Because, I mean, I'm sure, like in your location, you probably have Walgreens or Rite-Aids on every single corner, it seems like. And so you could drive around for 
an hour, hit maybe five, six locations at a time, and you could just keep buying these figures again. Because that is at, at $2.99 to $3.99, that is guilt-free collecting. And it's just absolutely fun. And again, my love of G1 Transformers is so immense that just made this collection so much fun to get. I totally just absolutely loved collecting these figures the only downside to them is they do come apart really easily and they can't fall apart really easily and you can lose small you can lose fists hands guns um various accessories very very easily i think i've lost a few a few fists to some of mine over the years for moving and whatnot which is a bummer but nevertheless that's the only downside here these are just amazingly fun little tiny figures they're only they're only about oh maybe two three inches tall but again really really fun dig these a lot and a worthy number two on this list for sure cha-ching and coming in at number one with a bullet from hasbro from the star wars line the very first to crack this list and honestly one of the most funnest experiences i've had buying a buying a figure for under ten dollars and that is of course the efont mon i believe this guy came out in around 2007 and he was a chase figure he was short packed in in the wave he came in he was very difficult to find and i'm killing myself because i can't find his little cane that he came with uh, but nevertheless this is an amazing star wars hasbro figure they do not make him like this anymore he is just absolutely awesome his jaw moves up and down um yeah, I mean, now he's going to fall off the stand. But he is absolutely awesome. I love the detail on this guy. I mean, again, go to your local Walmart. Go to your local Target. Look in the Star Wars aisle. And what they have compared to this is absolute dog shit. Because this is an amazing action figure. This is from the golden age of Star Wars Hasbro mass retail collecting was this guy right here. This guy was the grail of my Star Wars figure collecting for a great long time. Again, he was hard to find when I found him. It was an absolute joyous occasion. Um, you know, very, very rarely can $10 get you so much joy and he wasn't even ten dollars i believe he was seven dollars and 99 cents probably eight dollars and 63 cents with tax an amazing absolutely awesome action figure the efont mon from hasbro star wars number one with a bullet Alrighty, so that is going to wrap up this list on the plastic planet my top five favorite figures all under ten dollars there is nothing better in the world if you ask me i mean getting high-end action figures is fun but you know what it comes with a great deal of anxiety there's financial angst about spending that kind of money on it you're worried about it getting shipped to you you're worried about you know getting it in the mail you're worried about getting it paid off on your credit card those things all take away from the sheer joy of buying that figure but when you can buy something for under ten dollars that in some ways gives you that much joy and more it is even more of a of a of a just a, just a blissful experience and you know like finding that e -font mon several years back in the store on the shelf and grabbing him in my hand and he was in my hot hand going to the cash register and spending just eight bucks on something that was so awesome so unique and would just look amazing i knew it was going to look amazing on my shelves is just that is why we do this that is why we buy this crap is for that sheer joy of, of a buyer's high and only spend you know under 10 bucks to do it is just uh, just a total win so anyway anyway hey i want to know what are your favorite uh, uh collectibles you've bought for under ten dollars go ahead and leave me a comment below i want to know let's let's have a little chat about that that'll be a good time and hey that's going to wrap things up on this week of the plastic planet thanks so much for joining me as always please give this a big thumbs up please give it a share and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so i uh, really appreciate that as well so anyway Hey guys, have a great week. Go out and find something cheap this week. Go out and find something for under $10 that makes you smile because there's nothing better than that, is there? All right, till next time, guys. Have a great one.